Oh, hey, it's Vicky. Hey, Vicky. How are you doing? Hi, I'm David McDivitt, a full-time single dad. When you're a single dad, it's hard, if not impossible, to strike a balance in your personal life. If you ever want to not be a single parent, you have to date or send your kids off to a distant prison boarding school. This is the Single Dad's Guide to Scheduling a Date. If you're at the point where you're actually scheduling a date, congratulations. It means the other person is excited to meet you or see you again. Oh, you want to go out again after the aluminum thing? Okay. Or at least reassess if they were too drunk that first time. Let me pull up my calendar. Can you hear me? All right, good. Oh, okay. As a single parent, your calendar is pretty full already. So try to find things that are easy to replace or remove or that you can do another time. Okay, so if I can move this Italian leather shoe fitting, I can move that with that. No, I can't. You need to make sure that you're honest up front because this could be the person that you spend the rest of your life with. How's Friday? How does Friday look? Yeah, next week. No. It's not, I can't get this. We're still thinking Friday, right? It's, well, what about, um, listen, maybe you're really not a test pilot for Airbus out of Toulouse, France. It's okay to tell her that if you don't think you'll ever see her again, but be careful because if it blossoms into something else, she's gonna wanna know why you aren't flying that plane when it starts to go down. Sorry, Becky. All right, I'm gonna, I'm having trouble with Vicky seeing my calendar there from over here. Hold on a sec. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pull this. Uh, yeah, I tell you what, I need to check something really quickly and Vicky, I'm gonna call you back, okay? Hey Deb, can you try to pull up my calendar? I'm having trouble moving some things around and I've got, it is kind of nuts here. These dates don't have to be perfect. Sometimes a show is sold out. Sometimes restaurants won't take reservations. We can isolate this. I think if I can move this, that can go there. You've got to get creative. Maybe you can make a date out of a run to the grocery store or a doctor's appointment for that thing on your neck. No, we're not talking about playing doctor. Okay, maybe she could come with me to get an oil change. Okay, so it looks like these three dates this could work. Okay. Oh, wait, my auxiliary calendar. Oh, gosh. Once you've narrowed down the times that might work for you, call your date, find out what times work for them. Vicki, hey, it's David again. Yes, I have nailed it down. Yeah, you tell me what kind of food you want. I will take you out, take you anywhere. I got the 16th. Yep, good on the 16th. I am good on the 16th. Oh, you're not good on the 16th. Listen, the last thing you wanna do is have to reschedule after you've already scheduled. It's not a good look. And seriously, take it from me. Sometimes they don't believe your excuses. Maybe you do have to take your beard and drag and fur an emergency haircut. I mean, that really could happen. That beard might be really long. Your excuses matter, so hold on to the good ones. No, the 23rd, I, I can't do the 23rd. And once you've agreed on what the date is, when it's gonna happen, get out there and have a great time. Okay, no, yeah, how about the 14th? How do you feel about fencing? Hello? Vicky? Vicky? Lost another one. This is how I schedule a date, but I'd like to hear what you do or if you have any better ideas. So please let me know in the comments below. And as always, please like us on Facebook and follow us on YouTube. Thanks. The last thing I bought on Amazon was aluminum foil. I went with the 200 square feet. Actually, I wanted the 200 square yards. I mean, I had probably agonized over this for 10 to 15 minutes before I finally pulled the trigger. You know, when it comes to aluminum foil, you do not want to make a mistake with that. Hello?